Siskri Smith, the Uncuffed Living Expert, based out of the DMV. But if you're tuned in, you're probably tuning in from all over the world. To you, I say welcome. And welcome to... And this is Capri Smith of Women Uncuffed TV on Women's Broadcast Television Network. And if you are following me, you know I have some awesome, exciting news coming up in September. So you guys better stay tuned. But right now, I am in the presence of what I call young greatness. <laughs> I love it. This amazing young lady is the owner and founder of, I know I'm going to mess it up, so I'm going to let you say it. Poison All-Star Cheerleading. Poison All-Star Cheerleading. But she does a number of things, and she's taking a minute. She told me, listen, we can't stay too long because I have lives to shape. Okay, let's get it done. And I promised her we wouldn't be too long, but I'm promising you, you're going to get all into her business, how she did it, how she's doing it, and where she's going next. You need to stay tuned. This is Capri Smith. We'll be right back. Smith here with Shakia Johnson. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Now you're just so beautiful. I love like it takes me back to the Run DMC era. <laughs> Thank you. Is that like is that what you guys are doing now? You've taken it back to what we were doing when we were your age. Yeah. What's going on? This I love is it. Saturday. It's I love this it. I love it though. The colors are popping. Thank I'll put you. that on with some black heels, girl, and call it a day. day. You hear me? And I'm still trying to learn how to do my wraps. I have that's not. True. Is it hard? Not at all. Okay, I want to learn because that's just so beautiful to me. Okay, so I know you don't have a lot of time. Tell the the watchers, they're watching from all over, tell them who you are and what you're about. Okay. Well, my name is Shakia Johnson. As you already stated, I am the owner and founder of Poison All-Star Cheerleading. Nice. Where I teach students ages 5 to 18, no experience necessary. Wow. Gymnastics, dance, modeling, hmm. and your modern day step team as well. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Wow. Gymnastics. Ballet. Ballet. You can do all of those things? I can. I think I can in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally, I do a full throttle split. <laughs> right. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> Just thinking you can do it. Right. So now, how did you stumble upon this amazing life where you're shaping five to 18-year-olds? Well, it's really a funny story. I grew up taking karate class. Girl. And, and you can fight. <laughs> and she can fight. So while I was in karate, I just heard all this noise downstairs. And I was like, where is that noise? I look over the balcony and there's a children's squad. Oh, nice. And I'm like, Daddy, I want to do that. I want to oh, do that. Nice. He was like, no, you don't. You're a fighter. I'm like, no, I want to do it. Oh, my cheerleading. Yes, I was about seven. Okay. So I go downstairs, introduce myself to the coach. Next mm -hmm. thing you know, I'm in practice. Nice. I've been cheering from seven to 22. Wow. And then after college, I'm like, I can't stop. But I think I'm too old. So let me teach people what I've learned. Mm. So I started off as a rec team coach for the I-9 and Owens Mills. I've heard of I-9 and actually they have all types of sports. My son's right. actually paid, played a thing football one time with them. Yes. That's a very wrestling company. It is really Kudos. nice. Kudos. Okay. <laughs> so after that, I've been looking around for space and I'm like, I want my own. You got to have your own. Yes. Yeah. So I've had the mentorship of my first children coach and she teached me what I learned. Well, she taught me. She taught you. That's right, girl. <laughs> and so you are educated on okay. the Women on Cup TV. Okay. And she also also guided me in the right direction. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, so I found a space that I could do great work in. It was small, mm -hmm. but you gotta start somewhere. Well, let me, yeah. what, what went into your decision for your spaces? I'm sure you didn't just, because you told your daddy at seven what you wanted to do. Right. So I know there were some things you thought about for your location. What did you like yes. about your location? It's in the middle of the mall, mm -hmm. so everybody has access to it. You can wow. stumble upon, oh, mom, I want to do that, just like nice, I did. Nice, nice. And it's in the county, central mm -hmm. location. Everyone mm -hmm. can get to it mm -hmm. from six ninety five, seven ninety five. Very nice. And that's how we made most of our business. Like, okay. walk by. Oh, wow. what are you guys doing in here? Word of mouth. And wow. we've grown in two years. I am so proud of you. Thank you. So you have launched your own company that makes you an entrepreneur. Do you also have a full-time job? I do. What's your job? I work in healthcare. Wow. Yes, ma'am. Go, girls! And y'all are talking about, oh, I have kids and I can't do this. Oh, I have a job, so I can't do this. And you are doing it. So how do you manage that work-life balance? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> to this day, I just go. Like, half the time my body is moving, mm -hmm. I'm just going. Like, oh, wow. Running off adrenaline, but oh. I love it. Oh. I love it. In your moments when you're taking it all in, are you just blowing your own mind? Absolutely. Every day, I'm like, I really did this. Wow. Really? It's amazing. Oh my God. Everybody asks, what, what made you get into it? 
I love teaching. If I can teach somebody else, why not? Absolutely, why absolutely. Why not? So you've started your own gym. Yes. You are the owner of Poison. I'm gonna mess it up. All star. All star <laughs> cheerleading. I'm gonna get it right before the end of the show. You have a full time job. What are some other things that you're doing? Well, with the girls that are in my cheerleading program, an all star simply means we're strictly competitive. Okay. We don't cheer for sports. We're strictly competitive. Okay. So with that, I have a mentorship program. Oh my god. It's called She Sisters Helping and Inspiring. Oh. And empowering. I'm sorry. Sisters okay. Helping and Empowering. Mm -hmm. And I teach them. We do because I was so shy. <laughs> Yo, I was like, Wait a minute. I'm coming. Sisters Helping and Empowering. Okay. We are still ages 5 to 18. We have homework time, homework no hour. No way. Absolutely. Are you serious? Before practice, it's time for homework. Wow. We have workbooks for every age group that they're in. I love it. High school, middle school. Mm. Mm -hmm. Education is first. I do crush that every, every practice. Education is first. Right. I talk to their parents if they're having trouble in any, any subject. Wow. Let's go. Now, math... It's not my best subject, <laughs> but I can get you there. And we also have other mentors that are in our program okay. that also help with that. We take field trips. Oh, wow. Where have you been? We actually take them to a different gymnastics uniform place. It's called, excuse me, Maryland All-Stars down the gym. Oh, oh very nice. Actually, right oh, nice. Right down the street. Okay. Yes. I work with one of their teachers, and mm -hmm. he just loves the girls, and they adore him. Aww. So we take them there mostly twice a month, and then mm -hmm. we'll go to Pizza Hut, Ruby Tuesday. Oh, nice. Actors. Just exposing them to right. a, a wonderful life. And they meet other children teams oh, in the wow. area. Yes. We went to, are you familiar with Bring It on Lifetime? Yes. Yes, yeah, so I had all mama boys, so I don't have the, uh, <laughs> big chance, many chances to watch shows like that because I'm into Transformers and mm -hmm. all, but I've heard about it. Yes, we took them to see Bring It Live. Oh my God. We yeah, so we enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed it more than they did. Very nice. Yeah, love it. Spoiled, rotten, but I love it. Oh, and I'm I sure you're it. doing all this fun. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> so I want to talk about what motivated you. A lot of people, and especially women, we have these amazing ideas. Let's change the world. Let's empower some young ladies. Mm -hmm. You did it. What motivated you to actually do it? People helping me. Mm. If I didn't have mentors, I don't know. I'm not. I had a great life, great right. childhood, private school. But people, you still need that push. Okay. Because you don't want to be mediocre. Yes. You always want somebody to tell you, you can do better than what you're doing. Come on, you're doing. You're making straight A's. But what else? Are you yes. Doing? Yes. Yes. What Accountability. Else are you doing? Exactly. Now, do you find because you are you're millennial, millennial mm -hmm. right? I hope you don't find that offensive. No. Okay. I'm in love with you guys because you guys have the attitudes that we were once afraid to exude. We were once afraid to say, I can do everything I, I want to do and do it. Do you find that the younger generation has adopted your type of thinking or are they are shrinking back more? I feel they're shrinking back. Okay. And I can't watch that happen. Mm. They have too much. We have cell phones, but the cell phones, I'm still trying to figure out how to work on. <laughs> Laptop, I'm still trying to, so I'm like, you have all this access to making your platform and you're just chilling snapchat free advertising free eating. marketing yes. who cares what you're eating exactly now? like do so oh, she's talking about me on it's, we'll log off and read a book like it's it's too much they have all the access that i wish that i had to promote and they're not using it how they should wow so i kind of feel like they're reverting back but i'm not gonna let that we ain't gonna let it happen mm -mm. that's what i'm talking about women <laughs> on cuffs so listen you have to stay tuned we'll be right back gonna hear all about how the things she's working on next and how she's doing it Hi, I am Shakia Johnson and I am the founder of Poison All-Star Cheerleading where we teach girls ages 5 to 18 the fundamentals of the sport in cheerleading, gymnastics, step, modeling, and hip-hop. The highly anticipated Miss and Mrs. Corporate America pageant is right around the corner. We invite Miss, Mrs., and teen contestants to apply for this opportunity to build lifelong friendships. Participate in speaking and networking opportunities, receive national exposure and visibility for your business, and promote your own personal community platform. This is the chance to be seen and heard by thousands of key business leaders and influencers. Contact to become us a con at 855-622-2769 or email us at info at mscorporateamerica.com. Deadline to apply is January 1st. We'll see you March 2nd through the 4th in Orlando, Florida.
What's financial freedom? To be successful and to live the good life. Financial freedom is the truest form of freedom, and it only comes if you start believing in yourself. This is the core message of Miss Corporate America Ambassador 2015 and Uncuffed Living Expert Capri Smith. Capri Smith is a proven business mentor, motivational speaker, and life coach. She will skillfully teach you how to uncuff your life by using your business and management experience to establish your own organization. This award-winning business and life coach has helped hundreds of women set up their own businesses over the years and will help you start your business venture today and prove your life skills to the world. It's time to face your fears and overcome in order for you to secure an amazing future ahead. To uncuff your life today, visit her website. Welcome back to Women Uncuffed TV. This is Capri Smith, and I'm here with Miss Johnson, the founder of Poison, all star cheerleading. Oh, I got it. I told you I would get it. <laughs> and she's filling us in about her thoughts on where we stand with our young ladies today and something she's doing to help change or make them better or make us all better, really. Right. I wanted to tap into your brain and figure out you said people helping you. Who in particular helped you the most? My mother. Tell me about that. Well, like you said, you have all boys. I have all sisters. Wow. Yeah. So it's a mixed attitudes. Be lucky. <laughs> and she is still keep going. Just like I told you, I told the other girls, keep going. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Nothing is too big. Don't limit God. Yes. Everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've also had my cheerleading coaches I spoke on earlier. Okay. She's awesome. If I'm not scared of anyone, I'm scared of her. <laughs> like, she is all a four foot and puts all the fear oh, in Oh, I heart. love it. So, I'm like, okay. Every time I think about it, I'm like, I channel it. What would Coach Monica do? What would Coach Monica do? What would she do? What would she love say? Love it. Like, okay. Look, I know what I have to do now. But I also draw inspiration from people off TV. Nice. Every, everywhere that I can get inspiration, I'm like, okay, I like what she's doing. Okay. I, I can, you know, learn from that. Uh -huh. But those are the two in particular. Okay. So, now... In today's society, are there any real mo role models for our young ladies? I would hope so. What would you? Who would you say? As of right now, for the young women, what could I say? I like Beyonce. I like Beyonce. Okay. I do like Beyonce. Like Oprah. I like. What do they know who Oprah is? I don't know. I don't know. Great question. So I was like, oh, Oprah from the Color Purple. No. Like, oh, what do you know her right, as a know. business mm -hmm. woman? So Candy Barris. I love her. Yes. I, I could yes. Say, yes. Candy. Yes. I think Candy would be a great. Yes. Model. Yes. 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 She's the one on the show that definitely stands out for being about her business. Wow. So I would I would agree with that. Wow. Now, aside from owning your own business, you are also a head cheerleading coach at a local university. Where are you? Well, I'm at the Catholic High School, the Institute of Notre Dame. Very nice. Yes. Now. They're older than our babies. Do they have similar types of attitudes, or how would is there a big difference? No. <laughs> there is Wait no till you difference. get to corporate, honey. <laughs> There's no difference at all. They're all great. They all bring something unique to the team. But I feel like as young females, the attitude is just there. What is that about? But I don't know. I'm trying mm -hmm. to figure it out. But as you get older, I think it becomes more of defiant. I feel like when you're younger, it's like okay, mm -hmm. I'll do it. But mm -hmm. when you get older, it's like. Do I have to? It's not about you, baby. Yes, you have to get it done. Yes, I'm yes. just like, you know, you're in high school now. What's going to happen after that oh, happens? Wow. Yeah. Like, you have to be more, like, educate yourself. Yes, be yes. Be in the world. Like, get out of your attitude. Yes. But I mean, it's teenagers. What can you say? Yes, 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 yes. They'll get there. They'll get there. So, with you being the millennial and having exposure to our children and our teenagers mm -hmm. and actually working with our adults because the parents are paying you, right? Yes. What do you think our biggest social challenge is? Staying away from TV. Television? Yeah. Okay. If, if we could just talk more. They talk to each other in practice, but mm -hmm. tell me about your day. Yes. I don't know. It was fine. Who would wow. you learn in school? I don't know. I have a conversation. They have to learn how to have a conversation. I'm guilty of it too. I'm right. always in my phone. Always. But wow. It's easier to be right. in your phone than to have a face-to-face -face conversation. Wow. If you're not used to it, it's not there. It's going to be difficult, mm -hmm. and you practice makes perfect. Exactly. I tell people, tell my kids, there's two types of people in this world, and I always change the two types they are. <laughs> Either two hours early or you are late. <laughs> but um, in this moment, saying there are two types of people, the people who will learn to love people and connect with people, mm -hmm. and the ones that are just going to miss it. 
exactly. they're going to miss it. Now, you have another type of business. You sell jewelry. I do. Tell me about that. Well, I am a new paparazzi consultant. Congratulations. Thank you. And paparazzi, it's amazing. It's $5 jewelry. I love it. I've seen it. But it's not cheap. It's yes. inexpensive. Mm -hmm. It can go with anything. We have styles. And this is actually a piece. It's so cute. Like you guys don't see the tassel. <laughs> <laughs> and this also comes in gray. And I love like the bracelets, too. You. Nice. I love Alex and Oni, but I had to switch up. Okay. And this does just fine. Oh god, yeah. It's yeah. like I said, it's five dollars. You can wear it with anything, wow. dress it up, dress it down, okay. all colors, all styles. Very nice. Thank Good you. money. Absolutely. Good money. Five dollars can't so, be Oh, you can't beat it. So I, I teach my women um as a mentor that you need many streams of income. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like I've counted at least three for you. Yes. Two more. Tell me some things that we can look forward to seeing from you. What are you working on? Well I'm actually looking to expand and my gem. Okay. We have just added modeling step and hip hop nice, dancing. Nice. With nice. the cheerleading. Thank you. Okay. So I'm looking for that as well. I'm also looking to, as we spoke about writing a book. Nice. I just have to get all my thoughts together and I think that that would be a great outsource. Oh, yeah. You know? Even the workbook because you have so much hands yes. on. I think that would be a good look for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Very nice. Very nice. So, a piece of advice to someone who wants to be where you are right now, mm -hmm. but they haven't taken that first step. Don't give up. Okay. It gets harder before it gets easier, trust me. Don't give up. You have to start somewhere. If mm -hmm. you have two clients, I had one mm. for a year and a half. I wow. wanted to give up so bad. Don't. Don't do it. Now we got Don't let go. I love it. Mm -hmm. And they're going to spread the word and they're going to keep spreading the word. Absolutely. You're going to keep excelling. I know you're onto big things. So guys, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to get into even more of what she's working on. We want to understand how she found her success by being uncuffed. Stay tuned. So you've been tuned into Women Uncuffed, and I promised you in 2017, I was going to bring you the best on many levels from different areas, and I've been doing that. I bring it to your living room. You don't even have to roll out of bed, guys. Pick up your phone and click a link, or go to Roku or Hulu and turn on your television. But I, I wanted to give you just a taste of what you might see. When we go to your website again? What's your website? KiasCloset5.com. Kia's Closet with a K, yes. five, the number five, dot com. When you go there, you get a little glimpse of what she does, but she wants to leave you with a little bit of advice and rationale for the name of her group. Tell us. Yes. Well, of course, we are Poison All-Star Cheerleading, and my girls, they're very cute, very subtle, very bubbly, but they are dangerous when it comes <laughs> to that competition mat. So since we are poisonous, never trust a big bow in a smile. <laughs> I, love I love that. I love that. So that's almost like symbolic in life. Never trust a big, shiny, beautiful object because guess what? There's always another side. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and helping me bring to life my dream of impacting and uncuffing women globally. I'm inviting you to be a guest. If you know someone that I should be interviewing, Send them my way, and I will see you in October, because if you're in Maryland, you better be at the Uncuffed Women's Colloquium, or I'm not forgiving you. All right? I promise not to forgive. All right, womenuncuffed.com. Please stay tuned, and I'll see you next time. I am Shakia Johnson, and I just had a great interview with Capri Smith. I am now a woman who is uncuffed. I'll give you the five most important people within your life and your business. The first is a connection to the Holy Spirit. You need some divine connection to hold you accountable morally so that you maintain a standard in your life and your business. You need an accountability partner. You need someone that's going to check in on you and say, hey, you wrote those goals down. What action steps have you made toward them? You need a mentor. A mentor is someone that is already doing what you want to do. Someone that's at a level that where you want to be. So you want someone that's going to kind of bounce ideas off of and help you find your own way. You definitely need someone special in your life. It could be a spouse. It could be a dating partner. It could be a best friend. But you need someone that's in your life that just allows you to unwind and you can relax around them. And the last and probably one of the most important is you need a coach. Every coach needs a coach. If you are taking your business very seriously and you want it to get to the next level and you're doing everything in your power to make that happen, but it's not happening quick enough, I invite you to schedule a strategy session with me, 20 minutes for free, and you're making an investment in time for your business. 
until we chat again, make today the day you honor your uniqueness. You live empowered and balanced. And remember, if you're not living uncuffed, you're just not living. Okay, if you're not uncuffed, if you're not living uncuffed, you're just not living. And the world will know. And that means you have to look at your haters and then keep that thing moving. The second thing you have to do if you want to uncuff today is you must honor your uniqueness and that means you have to be in a position where you are fighting for your dream your legacy and your purpose every single day of your life every hour i say while other people are sleeping i am uncuffing and what does that mean i don't sleep no it means that i've made a decision to live my life to the fullest because i know it's only for a short time and in my path of climbing to the top and reaching and obtaining my success and holding on to it I promised myself a long time ago, I no longer had permission to stop. The third thing is to really look at your life and make sure that it is aligned with your dreams and your goals. If you're looking at your life and you're confused by what has gone wrong or what can you be doing differently, if you don't feel completely fulfilled every day and you don't think you're doing enough, you probably are not. And on this other note, if you are doing too much and you're still not getting that peace and fulfillment, and I'm going to tell you, step back and reevaluate some things and make sure you are living your best life. Listen, a motivational speakers, they are all out there. We're out there. We are writing books. We're giving you shows. We're coming on television. We are doing our thing. But we want you guys to come with us. Success is not just for the elite or the chosen few. It's for the people willing to work hard to go out and get it. So never stop dreaming and never stop doing. That is how you uncuff. I started the show Women Uncuffed TV on Women Broadcast Television Network for many reasons. The biggest was that I needed many platforms to show the world what it looks like. I am standing in the atrium of my husband's cigar lounge, Puff and Quill. It is a premier cigar lounge. It's pretty upscale. You come here, you unwind, you engage, you have amazing day parties and just hang out. But more importantly, it's my husband's shop. So I'm not having to go somewhere else and pour money into someone else's dream. I'm helping to build our legacy through his dreams. So when you dream, you give others permission to dream. If you are surrounding yourself with people who have stopped dreaming or stopped doing or have become so critical and unhappy that they're impacting even you when you're around them, step away from that crowd and rebuild your crowd, even if you have a crowd of just two, you and God. So listen, living on cuff isn't difficult. It is a decision, though. This is Caprice Smith, and I'm inviting you to follow me on every social media, every platform. Caprice lives. Live.